I will kick people who say that there's a date. There's no date. There's yet. no date. If you have not heard it from us, or read it on our social media, or read it on the Terraria official forums by someone from her logic, not just a random person on the forums, there's no date yet. Yeah. Um, again, that's because it depends on how fast we can fix these bugs. <laughs> Some of which we've shown you. Oh. Yo there guys, what is up? Luke Games here, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about Terraria 1.3 on consoles and mobile. Because mobile seems to be a place where a lot of people keep asking me and asking me and asking me and I don't know the answers because we have no information on it yet. All Pipeworks have said is they're going to be working on mobile once uh, console has been released. And I can imagine there'll probably be like a two month gap or maybe more between the release of consoles and mobile. Because you've got to remember they're making the update for console and mobile and all from fresh. So it's all from PC coding and it's going to be good. But anyway, enough of that. We've been waiting so long for this update. But Pipeworks, I feel, have let us know a lot about this update and you might think no they haven't they haven't said anything they haven't just given us a release date they haven't given us anything other than well just live streams but i think these live streams are so much better than just saying oh it'll be out then here here's a bit of information have it no what they've done is they have brought us along on this journey uh progress tracker if you want uh, each week where they do a weekly stream of them streaming terraria uh, streaming what they have done and they did an hour's worth of footage which I'll be leaving in the background anyway so go check out the channel below drop them a subscribe and check out the videos they do loads on Twitch as well which is really awesome I'm um, uh, they're so connected with that community I love it but yeah anyway in these streams they've been going over things like Martian Madness uh, they've been they've been doing the solar events they've been doing loads of different things which I'll be leaving clips on in the background as you'll see and I think it's running really smoothly. Now, what is delaying the console 1.3 update is, I think, don't know for definite, I'm pretty sure it's the actual stability of the game and split screen. And I think split screen is bringing them behind a little bit. And maybe you might think, oh, well, that's a, that's a useless feature anyway. Who plays split screen? Well, I know they could release it as it is, but it's not just that. They've got bugs as well. And you've got to realize when a developer takes a game that has been out for a long time and then recodes the whole game from PC coding. Now, I don't know. I'm not technical about this. I don't know how it exactly works. But what I gather is what they've done is they've taken the PC coding and they're modifying it to work on consoles. And you know you can't just directly port something. You've got to have your own. You've got to write it for consoles. So all that work that's being put in there it's taken a long time, and I know it was supposed to come out like six months ago now, or something like that. Maybe four or five months ago, roughly. It was like June, July time, wasn't it? That was like the first estimate that they gave us. But if you if you remember, they never actually gave us any dates. It was more the community hyping it up more than anything. And I feel that we as a community have hyped it up so much that, you know, when, when there isn't an release date out, it's like, oh, oh, an another delay? <laughs> How many of these are there going to be? But no, I feel like what they've done is is so good. Like, they, they have brought us along on the journey. I know it took them a, a bit of time to start live streaming, but I feel like that they've connected with us on a different level here. Like, how many game developers do you know that have a game that they've picked up and then within a year, they're streaming it to you guys? There's not a lot of game developers that do that and stream their progress. And I, I feel like they, they should get a lot of credit where it's due. And I think they've done a lot of work into this. And the hours and hours of endless coding and finding bugs is so hard. And they want to make this update the best for us. You might just say, bring it out now. But then what if we have bugs? Then we've got to wait for a patch. And then what if our world's corrupt again? Remember in 1.2? I've mentioned this before. <laughs> 1.2 was an absolute shambles. And that update was bad. <laughs> I don't know how it got past QA testing. But it did. And... We had a half-released update, if you want to say. But that's where I think that Pyworks are doing their bit. They're making sure these bugs don't happen. They're making sure we don't have colossal fails. They're making sure the game will work as intended to. And that is why I think when 1.3 comes out of consoles, it'll be a smooth experience. It'll be a good experience. And I think it will be all around better for all of us overall. So... That's consoles pretty much set in dirt. I have no release date yet. As Pyworks have said, they're working on the update. 
and they're working very hard to bring us it as soon as they can. And there's not much more you can say about that. You might say, when's the release date? When is it? When is it? When is it? We don't know. Just work with them, support them, support their streams, and suggest things. They like suggestions. If you see a bug on the game, tell them about it. Let them know. If you see something that might not be right when they're doing the live streams, tell them about it. Tell them your opinion on it. But don't ask when the release date is going to be. Because that's just like prolonging, prolonging even more, really. You're not, you're not going to get anything more than what we already know. We have all the information in the description of this video. All videos that I've done. All the information sources. Everything. Streams, past streams, pipework streams. Everything that I've covered. And I feel like I'm milking this topic a bit. Story 1.3. But I'm really not. Like, we do have information that has been given to us but i don't want to do a video every time a new piece of information comes out because i feel like i said i don't want to milk the topic and it's just hyping it up even more and as i said earlier it hypes it up and the community hype it up even more and then you know we're letting ourselves down really like pyworks have never put a date on this they've only like estimated well it might come out around this time but they've never put a solid stone on the date. They've never put the sword in the stone, as they say. They've never laid it flat. They've never constructed or done anything about it. They've never done anything like that. And moving on to mobile, as I said before, mobile has already been said that it'll be out a little later after consoles. And my theory is maybe two or three months. You might think that's a long time, but you've got to remember it's being worked on in the background alongside the Nintendo Switch as well, because that's the other console that is getting the update. PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and also mobile devices, but not all mobile devices. Only some, I don't think that the Amazon version of the game was going to be updated anymore, but don't quote me on that because I don't know what additions are going to be what. I mean, there must be some progress with the update because there was a leaked copy from a Chinese company who like stole, totally stole the code. And I didn't know that at the time. I did do a video on it ages ago. And then like Chippy Gaming pointed out, well, this is actually a stolen copy. They have stolen the co coding that they was working on with, I think it was Relogic, Code Glue, and Engine. They both was working on it. And I think they stole that. So, I mean, there must be a lot of work already put in to that coding. So I can imagine that, you know, it's coming along. But there's a lot of bugs in it. There's a lot of stability issues. If you have saw that version that came out, I don't really agree with the, what they did with the update. So I'm not personally going to show on my channel. Because I, originally I thought it was just like um, an early release that a company had picked up and worked on it. But it wasn't. It was just downright stolen. And that's so much disrespect on the developers, and as it's stolen, it's not good. I like things to be a legitimate source of information, if that makes sense. So anyway, that's out there somewhere in the mists of YouTube. I think that the mobile update is going to be great. I think that when it does come out, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be good. It's going to be really good. And as I say, console is going to be really good. Nintendo Switch, however, I I'm like so stoked about that. Like, I'm so happy that the Nintendo Switch update is going to be coming out. Well, the game's going to be coming out altogether on Nintendo Switch and the 1.3 update on top of that. And I don't know if there's going to be like box art for it, but I'm really looking forward to see like some of the box art and get the physical copy of the game if they do do one. Because I don't know if they're going to bring out a physical copy of the Nintendo Switch game. I really don't know yet. All we know is that the Nintendo Switch copy is coming out. I think there was a piece of artwork somewhere for the Nintendo Switch copy, but I can't remember where that was from, and I can't remember if I was dreaming it, or if I saw, like, a fan-made one. I honestly cannot remember where it is, so I'll have to look if I can see if I can find that, and uh, have a look if I can find it, because that'd be cool to see the box art. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that. Like I said, I want to get the physical copy. I like owning two areas of physical copy. I always have, except for the 360 edition. Every other edition, I've got either on a disc, well, obviously not mobile, but uh, every other edition I've got on a disc, I've got the Xbox 360, PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo 3DS, I've got the PS Vita edition, and the mobile edition, of course. It's insane. So I've got all those editions, it's mad. And anyway, guys, hopefully this will update you a little bit. I mean, I've not really give any information here. It's literally just bits and pieces. And a lot of questions I keep getting asked. The number one question is, when is it coming out? When's the release date? When we're going to get it? Q4, Q3, Q2, 2018, 2052? No, okay? I don't know when we're going to get it. We don't have any release date. But, I mean, if I wanted to... I don't want to put a rough, rough estimate because, like I say, the community keeps hyping everything up. And people keep making videos. People keep thinking, oh, it's going to come out on this day because someone said 
it might come out on this day, but no, okay? No days. All we can do is support Pyworks, and I'd really advise you go down in the description, follow them on Twitter. They update people there. Follow their YouTube channel and follow them on Twitch as well so you can be updated with all the streams that they do, all the most recent news, and everything else that they have in their vision. But anyway, guys, that's been it today. Hopefully, uh, Terraria Otherworld is being worked on soon. I mean, it's just gone off the radar. I don't know what's going to happen to it, but I'm really hoping that's going to come out soon. Hopefully, that's updated. Like I say, all the information is in the description where you can follow all the official news for the update. I can't wait for it. Hopefully you can't too. I'm very hyped even though it's been delayed a little bit. You've got to remember that Pyworks have only been working on it for a year now. I think they've done a good job in a year. Anyway guys, hopefully you've enjoyed. Please leave a like, subscribe, stay frosty, and peace!